Today let's learn the basics of a simple page component. Here I have created an Ionic 2 project with a blank template. Let me open that up inside my code editor. In our previous video tutorial we have already seen the anatomy of a typical Ionic 2 project. Now let me open the root component of our application that is app.components.ts where we set the root page of our application. Well, let me bring up the home page on your screen. Well, I let it compile in the background. Here we import our page component and assign it as our root page. Our page component that is home page is present inside pages folder and home directory here. Check here the home page, the class name is home page which we specify here when we import the component. So also remember we need to import the page in app.module file and specify the class name inside declaration and entry components section. Okay coming back to home.ts this class is linked with home.html template file. So uh, let me show you the screen here. I'll make changes to this home.html file and which much which must reflect on your screen. Let us remove this. Also let me replace this with something like the world is yours and save the file and it must reflect on your screen. Okay, so coming back we have imported two libraries and we are making use of it that is component and now controller. This is called decorator. There are three types of decorators like component, pipe and directive which we will discuss in separate videos and we have class with export keyword here which means we will be using it in some other files by importing it later on. Now components are placed just above the class definition. We pass an object and configure this component. We can use this selector name to inject maybe an element into the DOM. We will see more about it in, in a separate video though. Template URL tells the component uh, tells the component about its associated template file. Well if you are familiar this is it about component we will make separate video for it. If you are familiar with object oriented programming in simple terms you know class is a blueprint of an object. This is where we write our logic. It will have some bunch of properties maybe private or public and some methods. In Ionic 2 we have our class just below the decorator and as you can see we have export keyword here which simply means we can import it somewhere else and make use of the service or output provided by this class in some other pages. Also remember constructor method is the first method which is being called automatically when the object of the class is invoked. Now let's see a little about variables and properties. Variables are typed in TypeScript which means they have data type bound to it. If a variable temp is number we can only assign it a number and if we assign some string value to it it will start throwing errors. We can make it string and it works. Again, if a string variable is assigned a number, it will start throwing errors. We have, if it's marked as any, you can assign any type of value to it. We also have array data type here. We can even specify if, an, if we are inserting object into an array, we can specify it too. For now, I'll keep it any. We can reference these variables using this operator. So I'll give a value called techno tip here. 
so let me access the value of that variable inside home.html okay everything is saved now let's allow it to compile or rebuild once it's built we must see the output on our screen yeah and it's working similarly let me show you how we can have an array of objects and iterate and uh, iterate among the values that is elements of the array and show it on our html page we have list of companies i'll just manually enter the list here that is separate object for each company and inside home.html using maybe for loop i loop through this array and display these company names let me make use of ion list element here which has a sub element called ion item so inside i'll just repeat this ion item using my ng for loop let me access individual objects using the variable company present inside the array companies here we have the variable that is array companies from which we will fetch individual objects and it will be stored inside company variable so company dot its property that is name property this should fetch all the company names and display on our home.html file that is on our home screen so it is rebuilding and let me open up our application in chrome browser and it's working in our next video tutorial i'll show you how to click on these individual items and navigate to some other page where it shows more detail about the company also note that we have some lines here if you want to take out these lines just apply the styling no hyphen lines and it will immediately apply to your application style please stay subscribed to our blog technotip.com and to our youtube channel and please share this video with your friends on facebook linkedin google plus twitter etc and do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you